on the banks of the Akushnet River at the former Akushnet Sawmill property. And we want to restore the river banks of the Akushnet River and open it up to the public for use. So as a integral part of that restoration is the fishway project behind me. The Akushnet River flows down from the upper reaches, the New Bedford Reservoir, and the river flows south through this property and opens up into New Bedford Harbor and then Buzzards Bay. And the sawmill property had the lowest most dam on the Akushnet River. And what was happening is diadromous fish species like river herring and eels would try and make their way up into the freshwater reaches of the river, but they couldn't because of the dam. They were hitting their heads against a wall, literally. And so the challenge is to take out the dams that are no longer serving any use. So what was designed was what's called a nature-like fishway that was installed in 2007 with the help of NOAA. And it's a series of rock boulders and pools that enable the fish to make short little jumps and rest in pools before taking the next little jump and rest in the next set of pools. And in comparison, a fish ladder, it's much more rigid and structural and there used to be a very inefficient fish ladder here at the sawmill property. But it was rickety and it was old and it was poorly sighted and so very few fish were able to find this ladder and, and get up. But a, a nature-like fishway really incorporates the whole river channel. So fish don't have a problem finding it because they're just following the natural flow of the water. Before this structure was put into place, we were only getting less than 400 fish up in the New Bedford Reservoir. This past spring, we were able to get over 6,000 fish up to the headwaters of the river. It's estimated that the potential for the Kushner River could be for tens of thousands of river herring. So we're on our way there. So this project wouldn't have been possible without NOAA. Working as the point contact for the New Bedford Harbor Trustee Council, NOAA in conjunction with other partners really had spearheaded the design and implementation of this project. And what we're aiming to do here is to make this fishway the, the center of a much larger restoration project. By taking up the rest of the pavement that's at this site, we're going to be restoring the wetlands and expanding the meadows that are already here, and then building a trail network on it, as well as installing a canoe launch into the mill pond and having a couple of different overlooks combined with interpretive signage. So it really offers a unique opportunity to attract people to this new restored ecological resource that they're going to be able to see the river herring coming up from the bay and they're going to be able to look at dragonflies and look for butterflies and identify plants and have school programs or just come for a hike and just come listen to this incredible sound of the river behind you.